what's up guys welcome to another icy video in this icy video we're gonna be i'm gonna be showing you my bleed build for my warrior cl type class this works for warrior and uh two other classes that i'm not sure of but the all this build is is just i'm gonna be showing you where to get the ash war to get the bloody slash gonna be showing you how to duplicate it I'm going to be showing you how to get the Royal Remains armor, armor, which is the best kind of armor you can get, you know, early to mid game. I, I'm pretty sure it's even good in late game terms. But, and then at the end, I'm going to be showing you a boss fight and me being invaded by somebody. Obviously, I win both of those. With that being said, I'm actually not going to talk the entire video. I'm going to talk where I need to explain things to y'all or where to find things. Obviously, the first the first thing you will need would be the Bloody Slash, which you can get at Fort Hot, which is kind of bottom right of the map. But with that being said, I will talk to you guys next uh, when the next headline comes in. Alright guys, now after you get your Ash of War, you need to go to the bottom, bottom left of the map on the island by itself to actually find a lost Ash of War. So, in order to duplicate an Ash of War that you actually want, you need to have one loss of, uh, loss of Ash. So, there's three in the game, I'm pretty sure. 
uh, well, there's more than three, but you can buy three. One is at the bottom left of the map at this merchant where you see me going to, and I showed it on the map actually. And the other two is from another merchant in the red scarlet area, which is really hard and difficult if you're doing this kind of early game. So just be mindful of that. This is kind of the easier way. Again, the loss of ash. And then, of course, you get you can get it as being bosses around the map. I'm not entirely sure which bosses gives them. But of course, you know, early game, just easy to go farm up 3k and just go to the bottom left and duplicate the Ash of War. And then later on, you need to be able to go to the round table. If you haven't did that yet, you need to get to the round table to actually go to the smithing table in there to actually duplicate. Safe journey. for dead no matter it's all the same lay out your arms then So in this build, you usually want to have three key talisman, but two of the talisman is really late game, or you really need to be able to grind for it to actually get to the areas to get that, which is more kind of mid late game. But there is an actual easy one, Arrow's Reach, that sits on top of the Storm Gate storm hill gates pretty much it's really easy to get to be honest with you if you get past you know the gate it's really easy to get to all it does is just gives your arrows reach <laughs> they can pretty much hit farther considering the blood slash and the other two would be Lord of Blood and Kendra of the Rot Excavation. Alright, so now we got done with the weapon. The weapon, what you need to do for the weapons. Now you need to head for the best early game era armor for warrior types and just going for this build in general. As you see on the map, you have to go to the swamp area. 
and actually try to find a pot. You're going to be looking for a pot. Now, be careful. This is one of those demi humans where they pretty much been turned into some kind of inanimate object. But they still do speak to you until you get close enough and you can pretty much knock them out of their trance. All right. So this particular demi human, you need to get the right half of the medallion that he gives you. Now, it's, he's a pot. He's a mid-sized pot. Be careful because, of course, you can hit them once to kind of knock them out of the trance. Or, this is optional, you don't need to kill them, but you can kill them. And it will give you the, um, the medallion as well. But do note that you need to upgrade your weapon at the smithing table, at the round table, in the round table, before doing this. Because once you get the medallion, the next time you go to the round table, you will be met with a boss. And the boss is pretty much the set of armor itself, I think, in a sense. Because right after you beat the boss, you'll be able to... Go collect the all four pieces of the, you know, of the armor set, which is the Warrior Remains armor set. It's very good for warrior types and especially good for this type of build. Because what it does is um, it's a mid to lightweight armor set. So it doesn't put a lot of weight on you, but at the same time, it, it really protects you very easily. Please no, dear me. I haven't a clue. No secrets lie with me, not a one. Oh, please leave me be. Wait then, you're not one of them? Well, what a relief. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I am Albus and Alvinoric, as you can see. We're finished. The whole village is finished. The curse mongers have destroyed everything. No one that remains has their wits about them. I beg you. Would you look after this medallion? You must keep it out of the Cursemonger's hands. And if you should meet the young Albinorek Latena, then please give it to her.
all right guys with that being said now you have the main pieces of the build you have the weapons correct and you have the armor the best armor you can use for this build early game early to mid game late game i'm not sure you may can find better things to kind of help you but that's pretty much all it is to it and i hope you guys actually have fun if you don't know what the bleed build is it's just for like let's say you know you hit the enemy five times with the sabers it procs the bleed damage which would do a percentage of the you know the monster's maximum health which is pretty cool if you're dealing with like very tanky bosses and whatnot and it just it's good all around but with that being said you got the main pieces of the build everything after this is just pretty much boss fight and there's something else this was, there was something else i got invaded after the boss fight and just this is just the footage from the boss and being raided of course you know me i win both but with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed i will have another video for Elden Ring coming out i so far it's four hours of gameplay which i'm gonna have to edit down but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed leave a like comment and subscribe and i hope you guys enjoy it deuces
Like coming outside, we got a billion braces, we got his melody.